What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some RimWorld. I think our animals are stuck. We are playing some RimHammer of the End Times with the Beastmen. And, as you saw at the end of the last episode, we are going to go out on Caravan. I think we'll bring the Boomer at just to get rid of it. <laughs> we need to reduce some wealth significantly. Hopefully we have a fair amount of meat sitting around. All right, hang on. Much like last time, I'm going to wait for some more butchering to happen here. And someone's working on it. Right anyway, somebody is sick from a simple meal. Might as well just eat the raw meat then. Did we just butcher everything again? No, we have six left to do. You, not a sign of cooking. Where'd that bloody cook just go? There he is. Get in here and butcher. Stop dicking around and butcher these dudes up. So much tainted apparel. Um, interesting. Well, one of the dwarven corpses was causing that, but regardless, let's get out on caravan. It's going to be a hard road here. <laughs> so, we're going to take the bed rolls because we can always make more when they go to shit all right where are the bloody bed rolls hide pile why don't i see them here oh here they are we'll take eight of them we'll leave a dog leather one we'll take the gore oh that's fine all right it's gonna be a rather ungore heavy situation as you can see i'm not gonna bring any meds We'll just take all the meat we have. We're gonna go... Let's go here first. Then we can, if we live, go to that beast man place next. <laughs> Alright. Just gonna take a bunch of raw food. That stuff butchered up. Alright. Alright. Yeah, keep butchering shit. These guys will spoil in a few hours. And then we will burn them, give them to Nurgle. Alright, so I'm a dip for not making a caravan packing spot. There you go. They might be setting out already. I saw them all run off. So oh, they're on the road. Alright, attack those dudes. It's a m mostly Ungor, but a couple Gore and a Saigor. They should have decent chance. Decent chance of that, right? Rotting, rotting, rotting. That dude's still fresh. Two hours. Alright, almost all of these are rotten here. And there's a raid on. So the raids should diminish because we got rid of some people. And animals, I guess you can go inside. How are you guys doing? You're doing just fine. Boonax, you're a jerk off. Alright, so you go there. No one's doing any construction here, I'd like to point out. <laughs> you go there. You go there. Boonax has the really good weapon. You go there, Dirtle. You, Mr. Ungor, are going to try and hold that down. I guess you can go over there. You come come over here somewhere. You go forward a step. And I guess we can see if we can get lucky with a, one of these shots, but you know it's not going to happen. This guy has a bow? Yes. All right, you dudes with the bows come over here maybe stand behind these dudes nice work you didn't do shit alright and then the shaman is going to get into these guys as well so they're avoiding our traps seems like they were anyway alright pendulum Ungor is not as much of a threat Pendulum that guy. Took his head clean off his shoulders. Look at that. His <laughs> neck was destroyed. 
<laughs> All right, if we enfeeble this guy, he should go down. Oh, it failed. Why did it fail? That sucks. All right, you guys get ready for it. I'm not sure why that failed. I suspect because we didn't have line of sight. Charge the bastards. Charge the next guy. You dudes quit shooting. It's going to be enough of that. Now there's, oh shit, look out for that rock. It's coming in hot. Run! Oh no, <laughs> the damn Cygor strikes again. You blew somebody's head off. Ethan, I think he was our cook. Now we only have Wake. Son of a bitch. Well, that sucks, but oh well. Remember to be a little more careful than I was, people. Should be able to. Ah, shit. I want you guys to come over here and punch these dudes, and I want this cat to pendulum one of them, too. Nice work, you dudes. Go attack the last Ungor. Nice work, boys. Alright, Seamus. You go meditate. No. You don't get to come here and attack us and then just walk away, buddy. I can't believe we flattened our own dude. That's so... Look, there's his carcass with his head knocked off. <laughs> ah, dirty Cygor. Every time they get us. All right, we need some constructors here, too. So we got that dude. This guy's going to have to be promoted as well. Animals can be freed. Oh, no, this guy's down. Boonax is still on a break. I want these items brought back in. These are important things. Alright, there you have it. Another raid down. Okay, somebody, when I see somebody walking around next, I can get these bodies burned. Tending is happening. Boonax is still on a mental break with a mad squirrel. What if we just ignore that? This guy's going to have to deal with it. Maybe it'll attack Boonax. That'd be just fine. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, Wake's going to shoot it. Wake is trying to shoot it. Boonax is in someone's bedroom. Where's it going? You cannot shoot for shit, partner. Alright, you go inside. Should go after Boonax. Oh, there's a harpy over there. It should ignore him. These doors don't hold up to anything. There, there's Boonax outside. So once it gets a hold of him. Well, so much for that. He might be sad wandering, but he does have an axe of corn, which is a pretty mighty weapon. The whole forest is going to just be littered. Oh shit, there's a dwarf out there that we want to bring in. Littered with dead apparel. Hey! Cornell. It actually used Cornell's name. A xenophobe, quick sleeper, trigger happy. Alright, well. Uh, I don't want you hunting with that rock, buddy. All right, another bloody psycho. <laughs> Does he have any health issues? <laughs> nope. Quick sleep, sleeper and trigger happy, though. He'll shoot faster. It's a rare chance that that's going to happen. Why is this still laying out here? We need more freaking storage space. This is just getting out of hand. Where are you going? You're taking a simple meal. What are you doing? All right, good. You are the guy. Pick all this junk up that we don't want. Pick up that one stick of bird skin. There's a great bow. That's going to be useful. We need to build more stuff. That's actually a pretty good bow, too. Ungor spear. That one's poor. We'll get rid of it. And I think... Here, let's get rid of this. It's poor as well. it has got to be an easier way to check any of this stuff. Well, that'll get some things moved anyway. And over here, sir.
Yes, get down there. Drop it all. Go over there. Forbid it. Alright, there you are. Need to get the colony wealth reduced. Just, I think we're going to start burning this shit. You know what you can do, actually? Hauling simple meal to the food zone. Burn all these dudes. Let's get the Nurgle weapon. This is enough bodies to get the first favor with Nurgle. The first favor with any of the gods is always going to be their special weapon. Clearly you got to look out with the range stuff too because... <laughs> Can we get this shit moved as well then? Alright, we've researched Pemmican. Should we put carpets in their bedrooms? That seems rather beast man like. Crude bows, metallic horns. Alright, well we've done almost all the research we want to do. Devil strand, carpet, passive cooler. Should we get a heat wave? That'd prove useful. That's our favor with Nurgle. The Hearthstone should upgrade too once we get to seven. That'll be the. Oh. Original. That thing flew by really close. That is the second lump of gold ore. And look at it now. Because here it comes. Pow. Alright. Yeah, you see there now there's a bunch of skulls beneath it. And we got a note saying that we've upgraded our herd stone. So, next. Who wants this weapon? You have the corn axe. You have that awesome dwarven axe. I can give it to this fella. Not gonna happen. Ethan's still laying in the dirt somewhere. Seems like a bloody crime to give it to an Ung or a, yeah, an Ungor. And we don't really have many gore at this point. Two options. Well, I guess you can take it. You go equip that. Another wanderer joint. Oh my frick! It is a Bray Shaman. Look at that death wound. He is a Lore of the Wild Beast Man Mage. Does this other guy have any upgrades available? He's got two points. So I think I need three to upgrade. Magic points required three, yeah. Well, this lore is super fun. I haven't got to show it off yet, but you can do a Bray Scream. You can summon a Jabber Slythe to attack your enemies. Mantle of Gorok soups up one of your pawns. Bestial Surge makes your pawns in an area faster, and Devolve turns somebody into Berserk, turns a pawn into Berserk state. Fun stuff. Now, we need a bed for that, bro. Let's first build a copy of this. So I did fix this. See, now it has to be built. It doesn't just automatically happen. And we're going to give this bedroom to Death Wound, the wild magic user. And that pushes somebody out, but oh well. A bunch of these should be unassigned. Here, let's just... Can I unassign all these? No. Corneal, let's delete some of these. Unowned. This dude went on... The death caravan. This dude went on a death caravan. <laughs> I think this guy did too. If they have to pick new ones, that's fine. There you go. That should get us sorted out. Bray Shaman. We're going to have to do something with that dude. Alright. Now let's start working on Pemmican. If we can make Pemmican, just make Pemmican. Copy over here, paste, move to top. There we go. We must have butchered everybody that we could butcher. There's six more dudes laying there. We can go for some more favor of corn. I think we should just butcher them all at this point. So we'll get special pawns if we get up to the God's sacred number squared. Which is a. So that's. 64 bodies for corn. And 
49 bodies for Nurgle. We'll get awesome... Uh-oh. Did we just get our caravan ambushed? All right. Uh, oh, we actually showed up where we're going to do the attack. So there is a bug with alien races where things take quite a while to generate. There must be a road through here because I see a bridge. Let's creep on them over to here. We'll figure it out. Uh-oh, they're attacking us. Let's go stand over on the other side of the water then. And let's get you in attack mode. In fact, let's get everybody in attack mode. And let's get our combat people to the fore. Because we're going to need them. There's an Ungor with a spear there somewhere. Alright, they're coming up the water. Which is why we set up here so we'd have a better shot. Ooh, good. Damn it, you missed. We'll just send that dude in to punch people up. Oh, this guy's going to shoot at us. So can you cats shoot back? No. Is it a range issue? It is a range issue. Okay, good. Don't want Corneal in this. I do want you bros. Uh-oh, somebody crossed the river. Shark. Let's get these guys. This guy going to the bridge? That's a stupid thing to do. Oh, well, they shot him good. The Ungor got in there first. This might not go well, but we knew it wouldn't. That's kind of why we sent these dudes out. All right. We're just going to keep monkey piling them like this. All right, we should get you shooting at the dudes that are shooting at us. Like right there. Get them. Get them. Get the bastards. Oh, that was a hell of a horrible miss. Go get that guy next. Somebody's down. Somebody's down. We do need to get all these guys butchered. Oh, they left us a bunch of pemmican. All right, keep creeping because... Uh-oh. Our combat guys are getting shot up. Oh, shit. Alright, let's change his aim to here somewhere. <laughs> and you dudes, maybe shoot the closest guy that's kicking your ass there. Not get that one. Mobster's down. Alright, they're boogieing. Let's go see if we can kill Snake. You guys keep shooting. Alright, you guys see if you can get Tona. Get him! Alright, now. Let's claim all this. Orders. Claim. We're really just looking for food here. I wish we could see what was in there, but we can't. Is everybody wounded? That didn't go so bad. We did get kind of beat up. Where's that rock going? Dear God, no. <laughs> Alright, stop your shooting. Everybody, I'm going to leave some people over here to do some rescues. Hopefully they don't go down too. Let's send somebody else back. Alright, you come over here. You two come over here. We should be able to find beds and all that stuff. Base destroyed. Very nice. You guys just stand for a minute till we can get over here. Hopefully everything's going well back home. I don't think anybody even died yet, so that's good. We are going to have to set up some stockpiles and butcher a bunch of bodies. So cook, cook, doctor. Anybody that can doctor is going to doctor. Come on, get over here already. You go in that door. A meteorite, don't care. Grimjaw, there. And sadly, you have to claim all these doors because it doesn't claim anything in there. There's some food on the table. Go over there. Go there. Go there. Claim that. Nothing. Go there. 
Is there a door on the side? No. These dudes are so slow. I guess the Saigor didn't really get in the fight. There's a door there. Where's the bloody door to this room? There it is. Go over there. Alright, you go down there. You're going there. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's a door over there. Forest dwelling bastards. Go there, go there, go there. You go there, then go there. You're gonna go around. We'll see who gets done first. Where's the door to this? Looks like it's right there. Alright, you come back over here. You, let's claim that little door. It's a nice little base. Oh, jeez. Just keeps going. There's medicine, too. Alright, so let's... I think if we just set a priority hall on everything... It'll say there's nowhere to move it, but... Man, there's a ton of food here. That's fantastic. And then let's do a claim on everything now that we can see it all. Alright, and then let's get some zones set up. We're only going to really take food when we leave here. Uh, why didn't it claim those beds? Orders, claim. Seems like... Oh, okay. Some stuff it claimed, some stuff it didn't. Alright, now. You bros. Uh-oh. Have they all gone down? They might have all gone down on me. No, they didn't. Good. Alright, I want you... Rescue, I want you... You look to be in better shape. Rescue, you're pretty beat up. We got bodies to burn. Somebody else over there. We have food. We need to set a spot to put all the dead bodies as well. And we need a butcher spot. So zone, dumping. Fill this room up with corpses. Production, butcher. Boom. And... Can I get two of these in here? Right there is fine. So then butcher creature forever. Make sure we allow humans. Copy paste. Alright. There we go. That just leaves this dude. He's going to eat some food, which is fine. We have tons of it now. Corneo is still drafted. This guy is still drafted. This guy is still drafted. Okay. Let's go see what's going on back home. Do we... That's... Okay, that should probably get put away. And as soon as Corneal here is done eating, we need to get a bunch of shit thrown in the trash. Pick that up. Oh my god. God, there's nothing great to get rid of here, and there's nowhere to store anything. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna get rid of a bunch of plain leather. Pig skin as well. Alright. Now, is there anything down here we need? Yeah that up. Anything else? That's a small stack. That's a small stack. Lizard leather. Alright, come pick all that stuff up too, please. Alright, and then off you go over here. Somebody needs rescue somewhere. Grimjaw went down. What are you doing? Can you rescue this dude? Put a stockpile zone in there, too. Alright. Oh, is he there? No, he's making his way. 
And gear. Drop all this shit. Not the meals. Oops, you dropped the meals. Oh well. Alright, the rest of this stuff forbid. There. That should get rid of it just fine. You see who has the Nurgle weapon based on who's glowing green when he's walking around. Well, it is break time, so cheers to the patrons. Someone's infected. Frederick, Ethan D's, Wake Mata, Michael Rachel, Seamus, JT, Cornel B, and Dirtle Dave. We have a lot of people down over here. Uh-oh. He didn't make it back. Oh, shit. We got all kinds of dudes down. All right. Rescue that, dude. When you're done with that, I'm over here and rescue this dude. Next time, we'll carry on. We'll get back on the road. We'll try and smash this Beastman base, maybe. We're just going to keep smashing shit until... Until, uh, yeah, these guys die. <laughs> ah, someone croaked. Someone's on a fire starting spree. That's problematic, really. Grimjaw died as well. Oh, that sucks. You guys might want to get up. This could turn into a bloody catastrophe. Are you going to firefight? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll see you guys next time.